today we want to know, can you fly this with these? Welcome to Rotor Ride, I'm Ladrib. I'm Joshua Bardwell. And I'm your boy Vortex. And today we are seeing if we can fly one of our FPV freestyle drones with AA batteries. Legit, this is not a prank. These are not secretly lithium batteries. We're gonna really try to do this. I came across this YouTube channel where they had this beater car and they were trying to see like, what could they put in the gas tank and get the car to run? So I was thinking, okay, what's the analogy here? And I thought, can a drone run on AA batteries? Just to see if we could do it. We just bought a couple of packs of these Duracell. Duracell sponsors. <laughs> these are supposed to have extra life, extra power, but will it be enough to fly. To, to fly. So normally we power our drones with a lithium polymer battery that's designed specifically for powering a drone. These are very high output batteries. High output. They can high handle high density, amperage. Yes. Just a lot more battery per gram of weight. Double A batteries, not really the same. They're cheaper and they don't explode. They last most, forever in my remote control. What's the difference between this and this? And not in terms of chemistry necessarily, but in terms of like practical, can you fly a drone with one of these? Here's one difference. If we measure the LiPo, one cell of the LiPo is, I got that one at 3.85 volts. That's at storage voltage. It'll go up to 4.2 volts. When it's fully charged. When it's fully charged. And one cell, this battery is essentially like if you had one, two, three, four of these guys sort of Okay, so this is a like four. That. S. 4S, four so that's four series. That means you've got four individual cells in series. Each cell has a voltage, and when you stack them together, there you go. 15.2 15 15 volts. 15.3. Okay. So our drone packs, when we get these, they're meant to be charged and discharged over and over, so they come at like a storage voltage, and then we would charge them up to 4.2 volts per cell, and for a four cell battery, that'd be 16.8 volts. These store-bought AA batteries, they're supposed to come fully charged. They come fully charged. You're not supposed to recharge them. And oh my God, 1. 1.7 volts. 1.7? Yeah, okay, so, so like the difference is four, yeah, it's about half. So a four cell AA battery would be about. So now you've basically made a four series AA four battery. Four cell battery, yeah. We're at about Almost five seven. volts. That's it. That's so, it. Here's the first problem we gotta solve. It's not promising. These motors are designed to run on 17, 16, yeah. 14, 15 volts. We gotta get these guys up to 15 volts. There are three characteristics of the battery we gotta think about. One is voltage. voltage. Number two is capacity. How yeah. many milliamp hours the yeah, battery. I don't, I don't even know if they list that. How much they? they don't. So we could actually, I mean, theoretically, we could discharge one of these slowly yeah. and see how many milliamp hours it discharges. That's flight time. How right. long can we fly? But then the third characteristic is C rate. C rate is how much current it can provide instantaneously without sort of And that has to itself. do with the capacity, right? So let's say this battery has a 70C rating and it's a 1300 milliamp hour capacity battery. So 1.3 times 70, about 100. About, so yeah, so it's about theoretically a 70C battery. Ratings are usually low. I think rated. if you pull 100 amps on yeah. this, you're getting an explosion. <laughs> so for here's, sure. here's the problem. These guys are not designed for high, although these guys are supposed to be extra power, I don't think they mean it like we mean it. And they don't have a very high capacity. One more. There's a fourth oh, a factor idea. where these are different. What's that? We're only going to get one flight, anyways, because you can't recharge it. I mean, well, well, we're no, going to recharge, recharge it. it. We, you I, can listen. You can You can recharge any battery. It's just should you, know, you and will we, it? we won't be recharging these because when we're done with them, I think they will explode. This is probably true. You think true. it's going to explode? There's there's two ways we could approach this. We could approach this scientifically, like we could test the capacity and the C rate, right, or we could just bench. build a freaking battery and try and fly a drone with it. All in favor? <laughs> I want to just build a battery. <laughs> build the battery yeah, and see what happens. We've got a scale here to give us an idea of what we can expect. Let's see what a 1300 milliamp hour LiPo weighs. That's about 138 grams. Let's see what happens when we put 10 AA batteries, about 240 grams. You know what, we'll just remove the GoPro. Think about all the weight we'll save. Huh? That's true. Think about, look at that. We're gonna take the GoPro off. There we go, there's 120 grams right there. So now we're, we're basically weight parity. Mm -hmm. We'll see how these guys compare to this LiPo. you when we plug it in uh -huh. it'll go do 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 okay I guarantee you it'll power up mm -hmm. 
Will it even arm and spin the motors? I think it will for sure spin the motors. For sure. I'm worried it might, when you give it full throttle, just reset. You know, the voltage might just sag. Oh, if the gonna... voltage sags to the point where the whole quad just shuts down, then the batteries won't explode. That is an upside. We, we got 17.2 volts. volts. It will stay in your closet for years and years and years <laughs> and still have a charge. This one, no. That's true. That's it. I want to plug do this it. thing in. Let we me get do it. Remote. Oh my God. All right, so stop. stop. Oh, damn it. Oh, oops. Okay. Rookie mistake, Johnson. So, plugging in double A batteries in three, two, one. Oh my gosh! You got video? I do not. Oh, I have video! Why did the motors do that? Why did they go beep, 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 beep? Because it was had to connect first. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. we've got video. Will it arm, and will the motor spin? I'm nervous. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my gosh, hold on, I'm putting it tail in. No. Nope. Oh! What happened? What happened? Okay, what happened? hold on. It died on me. So what happened was I gave it throttle, and then all of a sudden, it just died. The video cut out. So it just kind of like reset on the me. voltage sagged out. The voltage the sagged down, and I don't think the regulator could keep up, so it reset the video unit. And I mean, they they spooled up though. Okay, hang on. I have I have an idea. I want to know how many amps you're pulling. If this thing will do it. Okay. Go ahead so and arm, arm it. it. One amp. Two amps. Three six amps. Okay, and so it shut down. Wow. Six. Surprising. But that and that's six amps on top of whatever the resting. So seven amps, and we're at sixteen volts. So we've we dropped it basically a whole volt. That's not too bad. We need a bigger battery. We do need a bigger. I think this actually has viability. What if we gave it more voltage? What if we made it like equivalent to a five cell? I mean, at the end of the day, I don't think the voltage. I mean, if we go serial or parallel, at the end of the day, what we need is watts. Mm -hmm. I don't think. I think if you go higher voltage on high KV, the motors become less efficient. So let's just make more packs in parallel. Let's make two more of these packs. We have enough batteries to make two more of these packs. Okay. Here we go. Plugging in in three, two, one. Ah! Yeah. All right, predictions. I think the exact same thing is gonna happen. I mean, we have, we gotta have twice as many amps now. In, in the quad. Three, two, one. Oh boy. All right, I'm gonna try and take like... off in three, two, one. Oh! Oh wait. Lifted, <laughs> but then the same thing. Oh! So that still didn't work. We got a lot closer. We have the original battery. We're just going to use this parallel connector. We're making to it plug it in three, real quick. We have now three in parallel. The yes. problem the, here's the problem that okay, we have. Actually, I'm kind of curious to try this. So we'll just set it up like this and see if you can even get this to lift. So you won't be lifting the last battery. Oh, that's okay. interesting. We won't be adding weight. We will be adding power. Oh! I think it's definitely going to lift. It almost got in the air. Can it lift? Can it lift? Oh! Oh! It went up! It went up and then reset. Hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can control the throttle to bring it into a hover. No. Nope. Shut down. I just. Oh. So it definitely isn't going to lift off with the third back attached. So, boys and girls, this is why we use lithium polymer and not uh, regular alkaline store bought batteries. How can we make the video a winner, though? How can we make a quad fly with AA batteries? Hi, my name is Sam Pankratz. I'm a junior in aerospace engineering here at the University of Tennessee in Knoxville. I've been flying RC for about six years and I have successfully flown a mini quad on AA batteries. A few months ago, I talked to Drew and he said that if you can fly a quad on AA batteries, we'll film a video about it. And I was like, well, I think I have the tools. I think I have the knowledge base to make that happen. So what I think the Rotor Riot guys got wrong before is that they didn't use proper nickel metal hydride batteries. The batteries that I use were spot welded, so you don't damage the chemistry. They were properly cycled and, and pretty well built. I think another problem was that they only tried five inch propellers. If you go to the six inch, you can hover at a, a lower current draw, which is really important to flying with terrible chemistry. But what I really wanted to do was be, to be able to take off, hover, do a roll or a flip, catch it, 
and then land. So then I built this six inch that has nothing extra on it. There's no top plate, there's no FPV equipment. It's just motors, a receiver, flight controller, ESC, and frame. And then I built a parallel connector because I tried with one battery and that didn't work. So I tried with another battery and that actually worked. Full like, throttle punch. Like that. that was a full throttle punch? Yeah. Um. <laughs> it I can't believe it flew for so long. It's <laughs> ridiculous. It could fly longer. So this is this is not feasible. This is a terrible idea, but it can kind of work. All right, so I'm here with Sean and Alex, and we're gonna fly what Sam has put together for us. So this actually started about two years ago. We had this stupid idea to try and fly a drone with AA batteries. And thanks to Sam, so following his recommendations, Sean has put together something here. So this is a six inch drone, 2450 kV motors. So Normally for a 17 volt battery with six inch props, that'd be over propped and you'd run the risk of burning out the motors. We, I don't think we're gonna burn out the motors. No, I think we're so. still gonna be struggling to fly this thing. That was full throttle. That was full throttle? I can't even arm it now. Don't know why it's not working. I saw the video of it flying with Sam. Um, I'm just overcharging him now. I gotta unplug it. It's sizzling. It's sizzling. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's sizzling. Get left. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, is it seriously a loose prop? Oh my god, it was starting to make some noises on the charger. <laughs> well, I gotta be quick to boom, boom. I understand you might need to be quick to boom, boom, but <laughs> <laughs> this might. Look, I actually think this will catch on fire. Make sure you give it power before you like. We'll just roll it off. Oh my gosh, it's got no power. You shoot me down. It rolled and I still have and I still have video. I think I, oh my god, it is so hot. Yeah, it's toasty. I think I can do it. So I'm gonna get altitude and then I'm gonna lower throttle, not chop throttle, so you can't do anything abrupt. I'm gonna lower throttle and just give a roll, not full stick roll. You gotta <laughs> like you gotta baby it. Rolling in three, two, one. Boom! We did the roll. You just gotta do FPV the roll style. on double A batteries. Just you nice. Get it slow. You gotta Drift. do it you style. Is just it. hit the ground after the roll. That's my style, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of uncalled for. <laughs>